Hello everyone, I'm Lazy Grouse and welcome to the old world! Because today we're taking a look at a huge mod, not just in scale, but also as an accomplishment. Because earlier this year, Team Kami created the Kami tool, which allowed modders to change the map. And with it, Chaos Robbie created the Immortal Empires Expanded, which added settlements to places that had previously been unreachable. Which was huge by its own right, because it changed the campaign map, and you should check that out too, because it's really cool. But now it's made the Old World campaign, which isn't just an extension of the map. It's an entirely new campaign map, with new factions and settlements, 666 settlements to be precise, which is more than 100 more than Immortal Empires, and it's incredibly well done. So instead of playing the entire world, this essentially zooms in on the old world, but keeps the scale of Immortal Empires. So depending on where you want to play, it's gonna be huge and a lot of interesting details and factions have been added to it. Take the Empire for example. Now Altdorf is just a very small part of it, we still fight the secessionist, but now there's also orcs invading, there's Skaven hiding in the ruins. The beastman threat is real, both with Kalsarok and Taurox, there's new vampire factions, the Brass Keep Mountain has been expanded, so Festus might be even scarier now, and Norska is huge, so the Norskan invasion can be gigantic. But even with all of this added, all the old factions are still at place, all the Elector Counts are still large and present, so none of them have had to be sacrificed to add this. Downside is, it's gonna take you a while to leave the Empire if you want to take the Empire campaign or whatever else you're playing elsewhere. So this mod is fantastic if you want to play in the old world and you want to have a more focused campaign in that specific area. And this is all true wherever you want to play. Bretonia is huge with plenty of room for the knights to ride down any enemy of the lady. The mountains are expansive with passes, full of dwarf holds, skaven undercities and orc war camps. So taking back the dwarven supremacy over the mountains is gonna be more than just a handful of settlements. And then there's of course places like the border princes, Tylee and Estalia, that all feels like they're their own countries and regions ready to be conquered by whatever you want. And so far I've only shown a fraction of the size of this mod. It is huge. But not only is this an amazing mod, I see this as a proof of concept, and it makes me incredibly excited for the possible future campaign maps we can see in the future. And I'm not talking about the same treatment for Cathay, the New World or the Southlands, even though that could be amazing in its own right, but smaller narrative campaigns like the Beastman campaign. There are so many possibilities and I'm so excited to see what's to come. But that's all for now, I'm done gushing over this, even though I can keep going. So check out the mod in the description and show Chaos Robbie some love. And thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, do the YouTube things for more, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.